Welcome to the last lecture on measures of location. Our learning outcome is to recognise which measure of location is the most suitable for a given scenario. To be able to choose whether the mean, the median or the mode is the most suitable measure of location, we need to consider the pros and cons of each. That's the good points and the bad points of each measure of location. Let's start with the mean. The mean's a good average because every value in your data set is used in working it out. However, it can be heavily affected by extreme values called outliers. So if you have a very large number that is unusual compared to the rest of the data, it will affect the mean. And if this distribution of the data values is not symmetrical, then this can also affect the mean. The mean is used for quantitative data, that's numerical data. Considering the median, the median is not affected by extreme values. So this is a good average to use when you have outliers. It also makes a good average when the data set is not symmetrical. As with the mean, it is used for quantitative data, numerical data. And finally, the mode. The mode can be used with qualitative data, non-numerical data. But some data sets can have more than one mode. And if every value in a data set occurs just once, there is no mode. Let's look at an example. Explain whether the mean, median or mode would be most suitable as a summary of each of the following data sets. Salaries of each employee at a company, length of adult female adder snakes, makes of cars parked in a car park, weight of all newborn full-term babies born one year at a hospital, and distance a firm's employees travel to work each morning. The first thing to do is to consider whether the variable is quantitative or qualitative. So, let's have a look. For A, salaries, well that's a number, isn't it? So that is quantitative. And length of adult female adder snakes, that's a number. Length is a number, so that is quantitative. But, make of cars, well, we use a name to describe the make of cars or a combination of numbers and letters. So that is qualitative data. The weight of newborn babies, the weight is a number, so again that's quantitative. And the distance a firm's employees travel to work each morning, that's also a numerical data quantitative. So straight away we can see that anything that is qualitative, then what does that mean? Qualitative means it must be the mode. We don't have the actual data, so we cannot decide whether we have a mode at all or whether we have multiple modes but the mode would be the average we would look at for the make of cars. But the others are all quantitative, so we need to consider more about the distribution. Let's look at one at a time. The first one, salaries. Well, most employees will earn relatively low salaries, but a few could earn much higher salaries. For example, the company director will probably have a very large salary compared with the administration clerk, for example. So this is non-symmetrical data and it may have outliers. So the mean could be heavily affected by just a few salaries, but the median would not be affected. So that means the choice between median and mean is going to be the median. The next example was the length of snakes. Well, generally, um, you will get the same number of long snakes as short snakes. And although it could be a large range between the shortest and the longest, 
generally you'll have about the same number of long ones and the same number of short ones. So this means that the data is actually symmetrical. And if the data is symmetrical, then the mean is a good measure of location. We could also use the median as well, because in symmetrical data, the median is roughly equal to the mean. But since it is symmetrical, then we'll first, our first choice is the mean. We've already said that make of cars was qualitative data, and therefore we will use the mode. Our fourth example, weight of newborn babies, this is quantitative data, but again, you'll probably have a similar number of heavy babies to light babies. So our data is quite likely to be symmetrical. So again, we will probably use the mean, but we could use the median as well, since the median and the mean for symmetrical data is often the same, very, very similar. So let's use the mean for this one. And finally, the distance a firm's employees travel to work each morning. Well, this one we could have outliers. Somebody could live a very long way away from work and choose to travel long distances. Or somebody could live next door to work. So this is quite likely to be non-symmetrical data. And if it's non-symmetrical, it means that the mean will be affected by these outliers. But the median is not affected. So we will choose the median for this type of data. So in summary, for qualitative data, non-numerical data, then only the mode can be used, but be careful, it may not exist at all, or there may be multiple modes. But for quantitative data, numerical data, then generally use the mean for symmetrical data, but the median can be used too, since the mean and median are roughly the same for symmetrical data, and use the median for non-symmetrical data, or data that has outliers. Okay, now try the question.